Okay, hello everybody. Today I want to make a short video on uh, how to calculate static pressure or bottom hole pressure, static bottom hole pressure from pressure survey. As you know, as you know, for premature field, we did this survey every, for example, two years. Okay? And for, for, for mature, for, for premature, sometimes every six months, every one year, the procedure the reservoir engineer choose so many wells distributed uniformly around the, the field and he choose the shut in well, ST, shut in temporarily, because he tried to avoid shutting a producing well. If there is no choice, he shut some wells, producing well, to measure the bottom hole of pressure. First of all, I want to show you what the what is the output? An instrument depth. This depth, an instrument depth, you can do it from lower master valve, from sea level, from whatever it is. You are free. An instrument depth, top of the perforation. That equal pressure survey from, what is this? Top perforation. Okay, top of the perforation, fluid gradient between the instrument depth and top of perforation, how much? PSI per foot. The pressure of the instrument, of the gauge, measured in PSI gauge. And the gradient in the reservoir, because if you don't know this, you can use this. Okay, the same fluid gradient inside, and datum level. I will explain the datum level in this video. Okay, and just clear before run, nothing under on it. So this is the pressure in psi a at the datum level. For example, this for well one. Do the same thing for well two, for well three, and for well four, and so on. How many? Uh, well, do the survey for them and then take the arithmetic average, which is the simplest way. And this is the arithmetic average, uh, keep it in the file and put the date of calculation and so ever, uh, because we, you, will use this average pressure at this date in material balance calculation. I will explain later uh, what uh, the inputs for the material balance calculation. This is one of them, pressure and date. So, cumulative oil produce or at uh, the same date, PVT as a function of the this pressure, and so on. And this is uh, a symbol. We use this a lot as a reservoir engineer. We use it a lot, two times a year, three times a year, sometimes. Okay, clear. Put this data in instrument depth. Feet, top of perforation, uh, well of load gradient between instrument depth and top of the This, pressure instrument, this, all of this given, except the datum. Most of the engineers, they don't know is the datum. The datum is very important depth. For each field, it has a, a, a datum depth. Okay? Datum depth. Now, I will explain, so look, you can change this and just, just a click, click, run, that's all. Now, if, uh, I will explain really the datum level. A lot of you, they don't know what's the datum level, datum calculation. This is the datum calculation. Okay, 
A simple example here, and then I will go to my real calculation for some field I did it before. Okay, but this is, for example, this is the front view ISO pack map. Okay, this is uh, this is the oil water contact. Oil water contact. Okay, this oil water contact. I'm not a professional in making a video, oh. so I measure. Uh, Planometer with this A1 with this planometer with this with this area, this area, this area, this area. And this is the top of the reservoir, which is zero area. And the thickness between this and this 13 feet, and this, this thickness between this and this 50 feet, they call it contour interval. Okay, and they, I, will, I will start, for example, from uh, Volume 7, this is the volume 7, volume 6, volume 5, volume 4, volume uh, 3, volume 2, volume 1. I start, it's better for me to start this. In trapezoidal rule, I will use trapezoidal rule. If you are more sophisticated, more accurate, you can use uh, trapezoidal rule and pyramidal rule. If the area A2, if this area A2, for example, to area 1 greater than uh, 0.5, use trapezoid, if not use pyramid. Okay, just for simplicity, I will use for just trapezoidal. V7, V7 equal, equal to this, but H8, this is H8, which is A7, H6, I'm sorry, H6. This is 6 plus this area divided by 2 times h, 13. This is 13 because g, this is 13. This is volume 7. Now, volume 6 between this area and this area. Volume uh, 5 between this and this. Volume 6 between this and this. And between this and this, this and this and this, this is the volume. I calculate just just calculation, and then the cumulative volume, cumulative volume. This is theoretically, and then I plot this volume with the depth. I will go to a real data from a company. A company. First of all, we got the porosity from log, as the value from log. Beta from log H net to H gross equal to one from, from log and the recovery factor, for example, just example. Take the map, the map, scale map, map scale, one centimeter, how much equal to this? Just put it here, one centimeter equal to whatever it is. And planometer, planometer reading, calibration of planometer. Calibration of planimeter. One centimeter square equal to this reading, for example. I don't know how much. I do I have to do some calibration for planimeter. Okay. Now, as I say, here, this is zero, I, this is zero. Here I start from here, zero five, but I start from here. Zero, fifteen, fifty, whatever is thirteen. It's the same here. Same here. This is the interval. This is A1. Planometer, this is planometer. Planometer, 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 and planometer. Now, here, change it to acre. Area in acre. This is the acre. When, when I put this, this here, jump some calculation here, I did some calculation. If a statement whatever what just don't about the calculation, just put your data here and the interval between this this is zero, between this and this fifty, between this and the and uh, between seven and eight is thirteen. Bulk volume I said area plus area and this is area eight, eighteen plus zero. This eighteen plus because the top area because this is the top area is equal to zero. Okay. But the cumulative volume, okay, 
hydrocarbon volume, just multiplication by whatever. Then hydrocarbon per volume and I must dial the day. Now, cumulative volume. I plot this hydrocarbon cumulative depth because here, 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 I will consider the depth equal to zero. How much I, this is the surface, how much the depth, for, for example, uh, uh, how much from the surface? For example, this is the surface. Okay. How much from this to this? I add it to my data later. So, this is the hydrocarbon volume, whatever it is, but, uh, then the cumulative, hydrocarbon volume, cumulative depth. Here, depth equal to zero is the depth of the top of the formation, but I have to add the depth from the surface to the top of the formation. This is the cumulative. Take 50% of the cumulative. Take 50% of cumulative. How much cumulative I have? It almost, almost 2,000. So 50% is 1,000. This is 1,000. And go to the depth is 200 feet. 200 feet from the top of the reservoir to the bottom of the reservoir I have 200 feet add these 200 this 100 200 feet to the depth of the top of the reservoir from the ground level to, to, to determine the data depth very important parameter very important parameter so be careful about the data because we correct all the pressure measured to this measure to this uh, depth to this depth when you say the average of pressure of the reservoir say 3000 where are the datum depth at the datum depth okay if you need any question please uh, tell me or write to me i will be more than welcome to answer you and thank you uh, very much if you have any question just ask me please thank you very much